Greetings everybody, I'm Kevin. Thanks for joining me here at Midwest Woodcraft. Today I'm out here in a nice quiet little spot. I'm going to do a quick video on the shear lashing. Uh, this is going to be the first in a little mini series on some lashings. It's going to help our campsite convenience series go a little bit smoother. Everybody really seems to like that, so we're going to take uh, a little pause here, cover some of these lashings. That will make that series a lot easier to understand and explain going forward. So stick with me. We'll get started on the shear lashing. Okay, welcome back guys. Now the shear lashing is actually really simple. We just have our two poles here and then we have our cordage tied onto one of them with a clove hitch. If you're not sure how to do a clove hitch, we have a, a video in our series on knots, hitches, and bends that will be able to help you out with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tag in from making my clove hitch and I'm just going to wrap that around that line a couple times. And then whenever I cross over onto my other pole here, it should pin it down and it won't let it unravel there. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take and do about eight wraps on this. I'm going to try to keep this real tight as I go. There's one. Two. Three wraps, and then if I can find my toggle here, I'll take and hook my toggle up to it. I'll tighten her down a little bit. That'll save my fingers. Four. Five. Toggle back out again. Do two more. One. Two. You can see I'm keeping them all pushed together as I go around. So that should be eight wraps there. Back up to my toggle one more time. Crank her tight. I got my eight wraps and now I'm going to do my fraps. So I'm going to come over down in between here. I'm probably going to have to separate these here. Get in between there. I'm just going to do two fraps, and that's going in between here. Two times. Same deal, I'll take my toggle once I get those in there. I'll try to pull them as tight as I can. I got my wrapping's so tight, I'm having a hard time getting my frappings tight. Looks like I got them good and tight there. And then I'm just going to end this off with another clove hitch, which is just two half hitches in succession. Succession. There's one. There's two. Use a little tag left over. We'll cut that off later if we need to. Heck, we might be able to use it for something. So, anyway, that's going to give us our A frame type shape here. So, you can see there that gives us the ability to make our A frame structures. Uh, if you were to make this on a bigger scale, you could use it to make a shelter. Or you could take this right here and you could use some different type of lashings that we'll cover later to make you kind of a an apparatus to cook on. You could lash other poles onto this. 
and then you could have sticks going across, have it up over the top of your fire. You could make a raised bed in this manner too, if you really wanted to. So a lot of things you can do with this lashing right here. We're going to be covering some more of them coming up real soon. So if you guys like what you see here, click like, hit subscribe, leave us a comment down below. We always really love hearing what you have to say. I'm Kevin. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the woods real soon.